What's up gamers? Welcome to Bad News Gamer. My name's Kevin. Sorry I haven't uploaded a video in two weeks. Been busy learning some programming, that kind of thing. So it's not that I'm being lazy, just doing other stuff. But I thought I would do this video today, probably do a video tomorrow. But none thus, here we are. So, my quick thoughts on Game of the Year, which Baldur's Gate 3 took that, I can agree to that. Nothing more, nothing less to say. Because at the end of the day, everyone's going to have their own Game of the Year anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now, with that being said, what we're going to do is I've got this here video. We're going to watch some trailers, not a lot of trailers, not all the trailers, just some of the trailers. And here's the first one, Visions of Mana. We're not going to watch it. It's a game that I'm interested in. I've never actually played any of the other mana games. You could call that a crime or a sin, depending on how much of a fan you are of the mana series. And then, of course, we got The Rise of the Ronin. This game did catch my attention. Overdose! <laughs> Cooking up! <laughs> so it is overdose! <laughs> oh. So, you know, the thing about Koajima trailers is they're usually really vague, alright? And usually people don't find out until later, later trailers. There's a reason why later trailers people start saying that, um... What's the name of that game? I forget the name of the game. The walking simulator, the UPS FedEx delivery simulator, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Death Stranding. There we go. <laughs> All right. They also had this uh, Jurassic Park survival game. The thing about these is they're 50-50. I'm surprised it took them this long to create a survival game that was based around the Jurassic Park franchise. But most of these movie-based games usually suck dick. So, let's just say my skepticism is pretty high. Then, of course, they got the more Final Fantasy VII going on here. And quite frankly, my thoughts and opinion, they're still milking the blind fanboys and girls with this cash grab. That, that's my quick thoughts and opinions on the Final Fantasy VII remake. So yeah, we're getting a Blade game. It's by Arcane Lynn, I believe, is the uh, studio. And Bethesda. I, I Arcane themselves as a whole, they've done all right. But either way, I mean, they've only had one Redfall, and they were hoping the game would get canceled anyway. So when, when Microsoft purchased them. So even they weren't excited about this pile of trash within of itself. So... You know, I'll give them a benefit of a doubt because they only have one negative mark and that negative mark really stems from the publisher and the higher-ups shoving their head up their ass when it came to Redfall. Taking a, a, a team that's mostly known for single-player and trying to get them to develop a multiplayer game, tell me how that was not going to somehow not work out. Open world, right? Something without boundaries.
so yeah, they like their uh, <laughs> Hello Games like likes titles with the word no in it. Light, no fire, no man's sky. <laughs> um, so here's my thoughts on this, because there was you know obviously a lot of controversy on how No Man's Sky released. This is a, a single planet, so I think the one thing because you, when you look at No Man's Sky, the in, a lot of the the game is repetitive within of itself, not just repetitive, uh, but it becomes uninteresting discovering planets because they rinse repeat because of limited graphical resources and the amount, eight quadrillion objects, moons and planets that you can land on. This is a single planet. So I would ultimately expect this to, well, not look like ass in terms of, you know, empty and repetitive because they, they, they've learned a lot from No Man's Sky. So... I, I, I'm going to give them the benefit of a, the doubt in terms of being able to create a literal world that is entirely open world. And, of course, the, the only question that I have is the multiplayer. Because there really isn't what we would call true multiplayer in No Man's Sky. And, of course, me being a solo kind of player anyway, hopefully they have... A mode for that as well. I would even say maybe some kind of co-op mode in case you want to introduce just specific friends. But maybe that's how they play out the whole multiplayer aspect. Who really knows? Not much information in regards to it. I don't really have any negative thoughts in terms of this game. Given the history of what they did, uh, even given the history with No Man's Sky, I... If I were to pick any a developer that probably would not rinse and repeat themselves like uh, Konami, Activision, Electronic Arts, I'm going to say that it's more than likely going to be Hello Games. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that hopefully they can make this somewhat exciting as Baldur's Gate 3. Not in the same terms of story-wise, because I think that's one of the biggest negative aspects of No Man's Sky is the lack of a story there, really. The story that is in there is this Matrix-type generic story. It doesn't interest me. They don't really dive into the cultures or the aliens. I know there's going to be people that say they do, but they don't. Objectively, they don't. There is no home planet you can go visit or anything of that nature. So they have not dove into the culture of the alien races in No Man's Sky. All of the ship models everyone uses, they look the same. There's no design difference based on the species that uses a fighter, a hull, or a shuttle. Which objectively there would be. There's no specific design mechanic for the individual races and of course the ancient ruins that you can go visit. They all look cut, copy-pasted. And even on the game's current scope and scale, there was objectively no excuse to do that. Because there's only like five alien races. That's pure laziness. So hopefully they don't do some of those mistakes in this particular game. Because one, it's a single freaking world. And hopefully they actually dive into the culture of whatever humanoid alien races are going to be in this game in some facet that thereof. And hopefully, if they do do some DLC, it's actual expansion packs. I've even said this in this modern age, that expansion packs for No Man's Sky, paid ones, would be okay at this moment in time. People would purchase them, nobody really would complain, because they definitely fucked up, and they were obligated to create all the free updates because they fucked up. But I think they've ultimately apologized in that way for doing that. Anyway, you can comment below. Let me know what you think about everything that I talked about that I showed, that I didn't show. If you thought it would be cool, all that good stuff.